we're going to cover cropping an image in MATLAB. First thing we have to do is go ahead and load in your image here. I'm going to start by converting this to grayscale from color. I'm just going to create a copy of this and then show you the raw image to start. Here's our raw image and my goal in this is going to be to crop the image down so we just see this sign at the bottom. To do this, we need to think back to what images are in MATLAB. And the reality is, they're just a matrix of numbers. If we take a look in our workspace, like I said, it's just a matrix of numbers, and each of these numbers represents a value of the pixel. A value from 0 to 256, which gives us the intensity, brightness, darkness, whatever you want to think of it as, of each of these pixels in the image. So if I want just the lower portion here, all I want is the lower portion of this matrix. There's about 2016 rows here. What if I just grabbed from the 1800 row to the bottom and got rid of everything else? Let's try that here. we need to use the indices. The index of a matrix points out what elements you want, and we can use this to down select what we want to keep in our image. So we're going to go into the image here, and we have to specify per dimension what we want to keep. Let's start by just saying, let's take the 1800th to the end. Those are the rows that we want to keep, and then specify the columns we want to keep. I'm going to say all of them. This is shorthand notation for saying one to end. You can just have the colon there. I'm going to show that image. And here we see I was a bit aggressive, but we can back that off a little bit. No problem. Try some different values. Maybe a bit higher up here at 1600. And there we can see the top of the, the sign that we're looking for. Now in the horizontal direction, we've kept all of the columns, we need to grab about this center third. So let me try some values here. Instead of this one to end, let's do, it's 1500 across. So let's try grabbing from 500 to 1200 and see how that does. Oh, that's actually perfect. And yes, I've done this earlier before recording the video. So here we have this sign. You could then save this using this I am right, and that would save this image here that we have as pyramid2.jpg to your current folder. We run that, and there pyramid2 appears. Doing this in color isn't that much more complicated. We're gonna get rid of this RGB to gray command, and we need to just add a third dimension, because photos now, when they're in color, have a third dimension right here. What happens is think of these as three sheets of paper. Each sheet of paper is 2016 by 512 of each individual color channel. And there's three color channels, red, green, and blue, R, G, and B. Hence the three at the end. So you have three sheets stacked up against each other. You add those values together and that creates the colors that we see. Hence, if we're doing this downsampling, all we have to do is include that third indice, 1 to 3, because I'm going to include all the channels. I can just use that as the single colon, run this, and there we go. Here we see it's in color now, same dimensions for the rows and the columns I wanted to keep, and I can keep then all of the third dimension as well. Thanks for watching. I've got an entire series on image processing. If you're interested, go ahead and check out the links in the description. Have a great day.